Okay, it's a Sunday, the end of week one. Congratulations, you made it. We haven't quite finished yet though, you got legs today. One thing that I want you to look out for and be careful that you're not gonna put your joints under too much strain. Sometimes it can be hard to distinguish your muscle pain against your joint pain. If it's your legs that you're training today, it's the knees that you're really gonna feel that pressure. Your knees might be traveling a little bit too far over your toes when you're doing squats, leg press, or lunges. Use your wraps, use your wrist straps, or uh, use your belts if you've got any back problems, you know, but use it as a preventative measure. Listen to your body to a certain degree. If your muscles are sore, that's fine, that's normal, but really listen to your body to make sure that it's not your joints that are put under stress. Another thing that you can do is take glucosamine. That helps promote the flow of synovial fluid within your joints. It really does kind of dry up as you get a little bit older, so use that as a preventative measure as well. So it's the end of the week, we've got legs to do, it's gonna be a hard workout, but I know you can do it. Stay motivated, stay strong, and I'll see you at the gym. doing something a little different today so we're starting off with leg extensions and then with no rest moving directly to hamstring curls I'm doing a whole stack on leg extensions for 30 reps and almost all of the stack on hamstring curls for 20 reps For the first exercise of this superset, we're doing 40 reps of walking lunges. We'll use a weighted barbell across our shoulders for this one. Find an open space in your gym and start walking, baby. We're going right into standing hamstring curls and we're gonna do three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. So once you've done a set on each leg, that counts as one set. You want to maintain good lunge form. With each rep, be sure to keep your feet straight forward and don't let your knees overextend your toes as you descend. Make sure your chest is puffed out during your lunges and this will prevent a rounding of the back which can cause injury. The next exercise is leg press. We're gonna be doing three sets of 50, yeah, that's 50 repetitions. This is gonna be a love-hate relationship. You might be dreading what's coming up, but you're gonna love it after once you get through to the other side. So when you're on, your, on this exercise, normally we'll do it towards the start of the workout, but towards the end now, this is a this is an absolute killer. Like just when we got we're doing 50 reps on here per set, and just when you get to like 40, you just lock your legs out just to try and rest a little bit. But it actually makes it worse because the lactic acid is just flushing into your thighs. So try and do this one without stopping if it's possible. My legs are already fatigued, but I'm going to really finish it off and get every ounce of energy out of them. 
hard as it was we don't want to leave anything in the tank so we're going to do one more round of leg extensions and hamstring curls just to totally obliterate the muscles and make sure we're crawling out of the gym by our lips we're going to do one set of each with 18 to 20 repetitions we're going to push it your legs are your biggest muscles and they can actually handle a lot more than you think or what you'd like to think Okay, so I need to just drop your iPod. Day seven, Marika's dropped her iPod. Okay, so it's day seven, we just did legs again, so the second time in that week. So as you can see, we're training every body part every six days. So we can go home now, eat, recover, and uh, and recuperate. So today I actually had my post my post workout shake pre workout because my timing was a little bit off with my meals. I woke up a little bit late today, so I knew I'd be eating close to my leg workout if I was to have a solid meal. So I had my Vitago, my Isolate, my Creatine, my Glutamine pre-workout, so I could train legs without feeling too sick. And um, post-workout, I'm actually gonna have my meal, which will be fish, uh, 200 grams of fish and um, a cup and a half of rice. So I'm going to do that and then I'll probably leave it about an hour and then um, I'll go and do my cardio. So just wrapping up the end of uh, week one, feel good, energy is great. I'll be curious to see what my weight is tomorrow. I have no idea. I'm guessing it's going to be around maybe seven pounds. Uh, that's what I'm guessing because I will lose a little bit of fluid as well and it's going to be a shock to my system doing this cardio. Uh, mentally, I feel good. Energy's fine. Don't feel any different to what I was before I started the diet. Actually, um, just rearing to get into week two. And that's it, baby. Come back tomorrow. Witness my first weigh-in. Is our hard work paying off? <laughs>